What's up? Welcome back to Mike's Tool Reviews. On this one, I'm going to talk about this set really quick, but this is not the main purpose of the video. Um, I got this because of the 3 Ace Impact Milwaukee that I got. Um, it was between this, piecing together some Tecton sets, or a Sunex set. And this one for the price, I believe it was like $59. Uh, is not bad. It goes uh, 8 to 19 without skipping anything, and then it has a, a 21, which the Sun X didn't have. 19 was the biggest from the Sun X. And same thing with the small ones, only it does, only has a shallow 19. It's got more metric than standard. Comes with two extensions, a 3 and a 6. Comes with this little uh, swivel, which I really, I got one of these from Harbor Freight that I really like. So I feel like I have a, a better quality one now. But, um, that's, this is not the main purpose of the video. Um, I will say, overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this set. The case is really nice. I don't have to put uh, any of my nice USA-made Craftsman sockets on the Impact, which is, you know, if you don't know, that's not good. Don't do that. You can get away with it with light torque, but if you're trying to break something loose, don't use the chrome. They, uh, it damages the sockets, and they can also explode. These are softer kind of steel... Uh, Chrome Molly Steel is this whole set. Made in Taiwan. Not really that bad. I mean, if you can look at that, there's definitely some discrepancies in the uh, laser etching. But it's it's still pretty clear. I mean, they have the part number on every socket, which I like. In case anything breaks, it's just down to the part number. So that is not the main purpose of this video. These toolboxes are the main purpose of the video. I was gifted these four toolboxes that were owned by an old machinist who actually worked at uh, Lockheed Martin or Martin Air Force Base here in Maryland. And he worked there from what I can tell from like the late 50s to the late 80s. And uh, I, I also believe he was a tool maker at, uh, for, the, for the Air Force. So... As expected, uh, there's lots of stare at in these. This is old 12 inch caliper. Also, uh, most of this stuff is for sale. I'm not going to officially put it up for sale until I do some more research on it, but um, this is for sale. I'm not really going to need this, and I think it's worth more to someone that maybe collects this sort of thing than I'm, I'm not going to actually use, use this probably. So um, let me just quickly go through some of these boxes and show you some of the highlights, some of the cool shit that I found hidden in these. Um, and these actually, the man who passed away that these belong to was a neighbor of a co-worker of mine, a good, good buddy of mine at work, and he said, hey, you got to come over here and check out, uh, you got to check out some of his tools. He, he had helped him out later in, you know, later in life, cutting his grass and doing his garden work, so uh, the old man willed him everything in his garage and a car so he called he invited me over there to check this stuff out and then uh, we were looking through it and he's like do you want this stuff i don't want it and he picked some parts out they had some vice grips in here he, he didn't have a whole lot of vice grips so he grabbed a couple things out of here and uh said i could have the rest so i'm pretty damn excited um this is really cool this is an old thick thick aluminum cased uh Old SK ratchet set, complete. I don't think it's... Yeah, I don't think that's missing any sizes. Um, came with this. I guess this is a spark plug wrench. Yeah, spark plug socket. Or big ass spark plug. That is a 13 sixteenths. I don't really know what else that could be for. It has an extension in here. But no labels, no stampings on the case itself. But I just thought that was a really... That's a really neat socket set. I'm probably actually going to use it too. And this is the main machining box. This is an old stare at uh, angle indicator. It's, you can swivel it around, lock it down with this, and then it has a bubble on it, which still got the water in it. Old as shit. I don't know when this was made. I'm sure somebody might have an idea. I believe they still make almost this exact same thing, if not identical to this. The... Uh, Where's the, here we go, the part number, number 12, <laughs> just 12, you know, it's definitely, it definitely has gotten some use, but it's still really smooth, 
you know, they, Steret doesn't screw around when it comes to tolerances. And uh, I'm sure if this didn't move smoothly leaving the factory, it wouldn't have uh, it wouldn't have left the factory. So you got all kinds of stuff, dies, die grinds, um, old. Let me see if this has anything on it. No name on that, but all kinds of uh, taps and dies, mostly taps. I actually haven't seen any dies yet in this set. Um, this is stare at uh, some kind of angle gauge. Not really sure. This goes to another part. Um, I got a couple of these. A bunch of stare at rulers. Um, these look like gauge blocks, but they had been they're very dirty, very old. Um, lots of stuff like this. Like this looks, this appears to be homemade. No marks on it at all. You got this nice twist pattern they decided to add to it. Could have been part of a set of something, but I don't know. Like this, I don't know what the hell this is. If you know, if I say I don't know what it is and you know, please let me know in the comments. And there's just so many mysteries in these boxes. Uh, a bunch of punches, transfer punches, center punches, pin punches. Uh, old tape measures. It looks to me like he has a lot of really quality stuff in here. And it looks to me that uh, that Lufkin was the shit back in the day. Because he has a lot of uh, Lufkin tape measures. Even this right here. Chrome clad. Universal replacement. Replacement tape. 10 foot replacement tape. I know they don't do that anymore. You, your tape gets fucked up. You gotta buy a new one. Uh, we got these... Uh, Thread pitch gauges. These are craftsmen. These are some kind of feeler gauges. Stare at feeler gauges. Um, Baldwin. These are a set of feeler gauges. Just this is the go-to uh, machining drawer, I think, or machining toolbox. Uh, all the files. Got a ton of files. They're all Nicholson files. I think. I knew Nicholson's been around for a really long time. This is some kind of Morris taper. I'm not really sure. I know this goes on a milling machine, but I don't know what the hell actual part this is. Old uh, tap handle. Uh, these things, I don't know what these are. These have little pivoting heads. Adjustable cone thingy. I don't know what 80% of this shit is. I do recognize some of it. But like I said, it's uh, all pretty much for sale. Oh yeah, brand new spanking set of curb feelers. That was for uh, you know if you didn't want to screw up your hundred spoke Dayton's back in the day. This stuff like this too, I was psyched about. I don't really have a hacksaw. This is an old Craftsman hacksaw. I'm actually going to use that. Um, I think these predate vice grips. Have something to do with riveting or welding, maybe. Uh, they have all steel. Developed some magnetism over the years. New vibe, new vice. That's s. Bunch of pairs of these. I don't know what these are. Scrapers. These little clamps down here. This is a Morris taper chuck. You know, all kinds of cool shit. All kinds of Jacobs chuck uh, keys. These. I don't. I think these are transfer punches. They're just a weird. A weird shape Cleveland Punch and Shear Company. Or just Cleveland Punch and Shear Works. You know, I guess they're transfer punches. That's what they look like. A bunch of bike parts. The man loved his bicycle. Rode his bicycle up into his late 80s. Had a, uh, looked like a 36 inch long flathead that he kept on it as a weapon. I wish I hadn't met the man. He seemed like, uh, but just looking through his tools, I feel like I'm getting to know him. But I, you know, seemed like a really interesting guy from what my uh, my coworker told me. Some more Morris tapers, um, old Craftsman adjustable, little tiny little baby ball peen hammer. Yeah. Uh, this is getting kind of long, a little bit longer than I wanted it to be. But I want everybody to see just about everything. Uh, a bunch of old files. They're all Nicholson. More of these little clamps. Um, have no idea what the hell these are. Anybody has any clue what these two things are? I would greatly appreciate that 
here it is. Made in the USA. And I believe here it says zip. I don't know if that's a manufacturer or what that means. Uh, just a bunch of f old files. Cool old wooden handle screwdriver. Where is it? Recessed head, wood screws, machine screws. It like you know gives you a little rundown. It's just a Phillips head, but uh, these angle gauges, so you can have like repeatable angles on things. It's got a single one and a looks like, looks like the same thing, only a double, double angle gauge. Um, in here, I don't know what the hell these things are. They say. Uh, let me say on them, Airco, Airco patented, and then I don't know. They look like well used, like it was an important part of his, important part of his job. I don't know what the hell they are. Uh, I don't know what the hell these are. These are spring, spring loaded. They have a little that kind of feature in both sides of the head. No clue. Don't know. Old. Cool old vice grips. Definitely get some use out of those. Um, and then you got this box over here. Le at least less interesting things in here. Um, yep, don't know what that is. No clue. This. I think I figured this little looks like a little pry bar, but I think this is actually a drum brake tool. But they just they look different. They look a little bit different than this now nowadays. And then. Oh, I thought these were cool too. I just love this because it's a 16, 19 millimeter combination wrench, forged steel, USA. What does that say? Oh, three quarter and five eighths. So they're they're double duty in the uh, metric and standard. But it, they did they they stamped all this on there. They stamped USA in before they did their brand. These might have been junk back in the day, USA junk. But I just still thought that was cool. There's a bunch of. Uh, there's some scraps of leather. The man did know what Harbor Freight was. This was empty, but there's some uh, there's some Harbor Freight artifacts in here. Let's see if there's anything below this. Uh, yeah, nothing too special down here. Brake tool. Uh, part for his bike is the old uh, flaring tool. I'm gonna see if that'll actually still work. This looks like old Pitman arm puller, old style. Uh, yeah, bike parts, you know, shit like that, old uh, T-handle Allen, it looks homemade, it very well could be homemade, or that's just how old stuff looks. So, that's it, uh, this is definitely the coolest, most interesting box out of all of them, and I'm gonna slowly go through, organize, there's, you know, there's some, somewhere, there was some junk in here, uh, oh yeah, I thought this was, this was neat, where is it, where is it, here it is. Sergeant Colonel, I believe that's what that means, Blackwell, Martin Marietta Security, focus, you fucker, have a nice day. <laughs> so, there's definitely a lot of history here, and I just don't know it. I'm just too young and too stupid <laughs> to know what the hell any of this stuff is. And this old tap set, oh, this was cool. Old stare at, uh, back plunger dial indicator that uh whoop, number 196 one thousandths of an inch so i don't know if you know what any of this stuff is let me know if you want to see more of this stuff in detail let me know but that's my uh vintage tool haul for the day these four big boxes also got this this isn't there was nothing in it but i got this old firebox with the key and everything to it so Hey, let me know what you think. If you know what any of this stuff is, please let me know because I'm kind of lost and uh, I don't know if it's worth anything or if it's has, if I could find it useful. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this I'm gonna cut this off now. It's getting kind of long. So thanks for watching.